Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to Son of a Mountain. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Today we are out here in this dry lake bed in the middle of the desert and I've been riding my one wheel in this place. I have I have it all to myself. <laughs> Super windy. I apologize for the wind noise. Today's video it's about how I charge my one wheel pint which is hiding somewhere back here charging and there it is that is uh, my one wheel pint aka the Franken pint and um, I own it now for the past three months I have about 300 miles on it uh, on average um, one wheel uh, claims that this uh, board can do eight miles tops but I have gotten about 11 and a half miles out of this thing I'll put a screenshot up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about um, and uh, that was on absolutely flat ground pavement and I had the tire pressure at 21 psi um, averaging speed of about 10 and a half miles and I was able to squeeze 11 and a half miles out of this thing with one charge okay um, that's in the city but when I'm out here in places like this I want to recharge it and ride as often as I possibly can so um, I, I, I seen a lot of options uh, I heard about the vampin ride which is basically you have to open the board and you have to tap into some wires to add the additional battery that would extend your range um, I didn't want to cut into wires <laughs> call me a wuss but I didn't I didn't want to you know I didn't want to do it these things are pretty expensive so I looked into a uh, you know a, a series a series of options for charging on the road on the go and I seen a lot of good ones and I came across um, this rock pal uh, 250 watt solar generator um, and it's, this thing is pretty awesome um, I'm able to get my one wheel pint here from 20% um, to 100% in one and a half hour um, but it takes 90% of the battery um, about 90% give or take and uh, you know uh, it's so uh, you know you could get one extra ride out of it if you don't have the solar panel which I currently do not have they, I, I believe that Rock Pals has um, two options with the folding panels for this device one is a 60 watt solar panel and the other one I believe is a 100 watt solar panel fold, both folding panels and I figured what a great idea I, I currently do not possess the the solar panel but uh, soon here I'm gonna do you know I'm gonna get the solar panel and I figure well while I'm out riding you know uh, the solar panel could be charging this battery and then when I when when the pint um, runs out of juice here I can come back to camp and um, you know have some food have some beer or whatever while this thing charges and then while I head back out there to ride some more the the solar panel and the rock pal um, is collecting energy to charge up my board so I thought that was a great option I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of this. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who already thought of this, you know. But for because I have a small, small camper here, um, 
this was a great option and um, I really really uh, like this idea so you know I've been riding the hell out of this thing out here in the desert and uh, I absolutely love the one wheel um, I'm gonna do a separate video on how I got into it and <laughs> how I found out about it which was a cr it's a crazy story guys crazy story but anyway enough of that currently it is charging see that light it's going it's going in and out charging uh, these lights suck but currently we're at 80% battery these lights are very dim um, and we're at 80 percent we started at a hundred percent and here's the app here's the app here's frankenpint i started at 38 percent or 37 percent and then my camera went out the battery died so so here's a screenshot of it or a video of it whatever um, and that was about uh, I don't know 20 minutes ago um, and I was at 38 or 30 odd percent and now I'm at 58 uh, percent and I started at somewhere in the mid 30s um, and like I said before um, it, it takes about an hour and a half to charge hey you know what that's not bad that is not bad at all guys I mean, unless you're like on a ride along or something like that, I could understand, you know, you're in more of a hurry. But hey, here's another thing you should know. I'm using the stock plug charger. You see, this is the one that came originally with the pint. So I know they have another option out there, another charger that's supposed to be called like a supercharger or a hypercharger i don't know what the heck it's called here's a here's a, a screenshot of it um i currently uh, have this covered here because of the dust um but anyway with that hypercharger you could probably you could probably do it in half the time is my point so if this is the stock you know uh, regular uh, 63 volt um, 63 volt charger uh, then I can imagine how the supercharger must charge it in half the time um, so an hour and a half just with the stock uh, stock charger and again I'm sorry I, I have it covered here I, trying to keep it protected as much as possible because like there's freaking sand all over here and I don't want any of it to get in here the fan just kicked on I don't know if you could hear that so it does have a fan and, and so to cool off and stuff and so yeah guys so that's it you know the one wheel pint can be charged with the Rock Pels 250 watt solar panel. I mean, <laughs> whoa, solar char uh, generator, and it works. It works. 